Hello, Pisces. This is your reading. And cards want to fly out already. You've got the star card. And I couldn't even get through the introduction. But I feel like Pisces, you, I mean, this star card comes out for you all the time. I feel like you are the star. You're the star, Pisces. Um, Pisces, um, make sure to look at your sun, moon, and rising for the reading. Now, see, you got me all off guard here because you just want to start, the cards want to start talking for you, Pisces, before I'm ready. I was still shuffling. But I feel like that, that's how it happens with you, Pisces. You're just raring to go. Okay, and Spirit wants to give you that message. So, yeah. Okay, you have the Page of Wands. Okay. You have the Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. I feel like the, the cards are going to be flying at me throughout this whole reading. But Pisces, okay, let's get started. It feels like, of course, and of course you get the Queen of Cups as well. Wow. Okay. And on the bottom, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. True Pisces nature. Okay. As always, Pisces, I think you're surrounded by people. I think that you are, you have this support network that is just tight. You have, you always have people around you. You are always communicating with somebody. And I feel like with this page of wands, this, this page of wands, they're actually looking at this group of people. So I think that this may be someone who is looking at how you deal with people and kind of really maybe desiring that in their life as well. Um, this could also be someone who is going to bring you a message. Someone, um, communication can be coming in. Um, but, yeah, I've, I've <laughs> you always have these interesting readings, Pisces. Now, with the star, with your main energy, I feel like, as always, you are like, Every time I do a reading for you, it's like you are becoming this brand new person. You you don't remain the same. I mean, you are constantly transforming. That's what I want to say. You're constantly transforming yourself. You're constantly um, building upon your attributes. Um, I feel like you have a lot of faith in this situation. And, of course, you've got people around you. You've got two queens here. You've got a page and the three of cups. Man, that's just, you're, you're constantly, are, are you partying all the time, Pisces? Is that what it is? Because I just feel like there's always so many people around you. Um, and I'm actually a Pisces moon, so I, I do understand. Um, let's see, you are, you always want to be in the spotlight. You always want to be the center of everyone's attention. 
And I get that, Pisces. Like I said, I'm a Pisces moon. So I get that, that you want to be in the spotlight. You want to um, have people recognize and notice you. And I feel like that, yeah. Now you have two queens here in your near future. Is this two queens that you are juggling? Now they don't have to be female or male. You don't have to attach any gender to them. If you're a female watching, this could be just a male taking on the attributes of the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. If you're a male watching, of course, this could be two women taking on the Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. If you're um, in a same gender relationship, and you know, this could be the same way. They're just, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords, she, she will tell you the truth, no matter how she thinks that is. She is not going to hold anything from you. She is going to hold on to her beliefs. and But she's also very healing and very supportive. Um, but she's not going to lie to you. She's not going to lie to you. She's going to tell you exactly how she feels, exactly what she, what her opinions are, and she's going to let you go from there. Um, the Queen of Cups, she is, she is, oh my goodness, she's very caring and supportive. She's also very nurturing. Um, but the Queen of Cups, as a love interest can be pretty needy. I'm, I'm just going to go there, okay? Um, but she's still very supportive. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles. So there may be a new beginning coming around. Now, Pisces, I wouldn't put it past you for you to be taking on these personalities of the Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups because you're Pisces, you know. But you have, yeah, so far in this reading, you have people in this reading. So there's a lot of people surrounding you right now. You have, you have a lot of personalities around you. But I think you should expect a message very soon. Someone's going to send you a message. Someone's going to um, send you a message, maybe by, by phone or text. Okay, let's see, let's see what else we got going on here. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Okay, and of course the Six of Wands. Okay. Okay, the Four of Wands. There's a lot of Wands here now. have the judgments and the king of swords so we do have some counterparts here and on the very bottom we have the four of cups okay so that bottom of the deck energy pisces i feel like um just don't get caught up in too much daydreaming don't get caught up in this could also be pisces just feeling unfulfilled at the moment being bored and that's typical pisces you get bored very easy and want to move on to something different. That's just, yeah, that's just Pisces. But kind of hold yourself back from that a little bit. Try to deter from that energy. Okay, you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, the Ace of Wands with the Three of Cups. You, this could be a very fiery new beginning. 
<laughs> this could be very passionate. This could be a person. This could be just your creative ideas. But next to the Six of Wands, I'm feeling like this is this is something that has actually brought you a lot of attention and you are beginning to really be noticed. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. Wow. Well, I mean, you do love to be recognized. You do like to be the center of attention. And with the star and the six of wands, <laughs> you're definitely the center of attention. Um, maybe when you're at celebrations, maybe you are known as the life of the party. Maybe you are the, the go-getter. Because you all, you, you know, you have three cards of celebration, actually. Three cards of celebrations. The Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands. They're all celebrating somebody. This this is the four pillars. This is happy home, uh, health, love, and happiness. So, um, I think that... You know, you're definitely going to be doing a lot of celebrating. This, and that's just in your fashion, Pisces. I, I feel like you're, you don't even have a reason to celebrate. You just want to um, get together with the people that you care about or, or your friends. And you want to just put stuff together. And I feel like that's your true fashion, Pisces. So, yeah. Well, it's actually coming through in the cards as well. Okay, now over here, you have the Judgment and the King of Swords. Now, you also have the Queen of Swords. So, this could be you and your counterpart. Um, but I feel like maybe there's a renewal on the situation. Um, but you also have this other Queen over here. So, maybe it's that you have a choice between two. Are you kind of juggling two? Um, two counterparts here. Are you are you juggling two people, Pisces? I don't know, but with the judgment card, I think that you're kind of leaning away from that. If you are juggling two, I think that you're kind of pushing on a final decision of that. Um, you're going to break away from that situation if it is two people that you're dealing with. Or this could be just you, Pisces, um, really having an awakening to your situation. Maybe something is that, that you are thinking about is coming into fruition. He has a sword down. So I feel like I feel like he's in deep thought in the situation. This is something that he's really thinking about. Um, he's contemplating. He's not taking it lightly. So, yeah, I, I think that you're actually becoming clear on certain situations, Pisces. And I think that clarity is going to Bring you into your outcome. Okay, of course. Okay. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. So, yeah, you definitely have messages coming in. And, of course, this may be someone offering you something. This could be a proposal. This could be something that you didn't think was going to happen. This may be something that takes you by complete surprise. Because um, this is something that's... Um, you didn't think what's going to happen. This was like your when pigs fly kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? But I think that, yeah, you definitely have messages coming through. Someone's going to bring you a message or an offer of some kind. 
this is going to be an offer of some kind. Okay, you also have the Two of Swords. Okay, so you're definitely thinking about choices that need to be made. Um, with the Two of Swords, it may be something that you're not truly seeing. Um, you just need to take off that blindfold. And look, you have two choices to make. You have a choice between two paths. So which would be your path? And I think I think you're kind of contemplating, you're daydreaming on that. You're wondering which path is going to be the right one to take. So, yeah, I think these messages might bring a lot of questions for you. You also have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So, this may be something that you've waited for for quite a while. And now it's coming, coming through. Have you been waiting on messages that have been delayed? Yeah, the Eight of Wands just fell on the floor. So definitely, I think that those are, you're definitely receiving messages that are coming through. And I think these messages are going to be, are going to kind of have you kind of suspended. And of course, you have the Star again and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. And you definitely have messages coming through. I don't think it's going to be something. I think this is going to be right out of the blue. It's not something you were expecting. With the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles, I, I think this is something unexpected coming through. You, But, but it's something that you need to make a choice on. Um, The Knight of Pentacles and the Star. I think that see, this is something that you're going to be leaving something behind. You're moving on from something. And I think that, now I think you have two stars in your reading, but this second star, I think this represents a renewal for you. And of course, you're a very, you transform all the time. Um, but I think you, you are going through a renewal cycle. Pisces, the hermits. Okay, yeah, you've been doing the shadow work. You've been deep in thought, trying to contemplate what it is you want to change. And I feel like you're finally becoming clear on what needs to change in your life in order to be where you want to be. Wow, this is this is pretty interesting, Pisces, and I wouldn't have it any other way with you. Of course, true Pisces nature. Okay, yes. Okay, so after you go through this contemplating, after you go through this inner work that you'll be doing, you'll be moving into a calmer period of your life, and of course, you're still going to have your your support. You're still going to have your celebrations that you just do. It's just you. And I know that of you. But I feel I feel like you're moving into a better place. This may be also a physical move as well. Um, 
maybe you'll be moving to a area that has more of your friends that you have more support or maybe you'll be moving closer to family so that you're supported um, but yeah definitely I, I, I feel that support system for you you have the three of cups twice so I definitely feel that support system for you you have people around you who care very deeply for you and I, I feel like uh, you're going to be moving towards them. You're going to be surrounding yourself with them. Okay, I feel like I need one more card. Let's get one more card for clarity, please. And of course, I never get one. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So yeah, I'm, I think you're going to be taking this time to grow new things in your life. I think that you're working hard. You're putting in a lot of effort um, to grow more things in your life that make you feel better, that make you feel good. And I feel like oh, this is much needed. This is exactly what you need in your life. I feel like this is going to bring you much rest. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress. So, yeah, this is going to bring forth a more fruitful time in your life. You're going to have a lot more happiness. Um, this could also be more abundance because you're working hard. Uh, those efforts aren't going to go unseen. Um, this may be working hard at work. This may be just you being an entrepreneur. Because I know with Pisces, they have a very entrepreneurial spirit. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is going to be a better time in your life. Definitely. Okay, let's get some guidance from the universe. Let's see what the universe has to say about the situation. out this reading you always throw out more than one I asked for one card and with Pisces I always get more than that okay the first one oneness is my true nature okay so you are very attuned with your own abilities. I feel that for you. You're very attuned with your self-awareness. Um, get more in tune with your intuition. Pisces, I know, are very intuitive beings as well. So, and that actually makes so much sense. Oneness is my true nature. That makes a lot of sense. I'm unapologetic about what I desire, and I trust what I focus on will grow. Yes, Pisces. Okay, I love that for you. And my vibes speak louder than words. Yes, they do. I found that Pisces have a very magnetic personality. People like, I don't know, a, a Pisces is just so intense. People are just drawn to you. And I mean, I, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, Pisces, and I feel that very strongly for you. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Yes, connect with Gaia. That's connecting with God, connecting with your higher source, um, finding that true connection. And I believe that is very strong for you, Pisces. Let's get an abundance card. Let's see. 
these cards are very hard to shuffle because um, they're big and bulky. But I love these cards. Okay, let's see what the universe has to say about abundance for the Pisces. What's in store for Pisces? Look at this. I'm just amazed I can never get just one card for you. Okay, Pisces, you have new moon in Leo, shine, and new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. Wow, that's, it's, it's amazing that they're both new moons. Wow. Okay. That's what I have for you, Pisces. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Love and light. Many blessings.